Here's an important question. How to use a Bitcoin wallet? Hi, I'm David McGregor, Bitcoin enthusiast, and I'm going to demonstrate this by actually doing a transaction between two of my online wallets. So the first wallet is called blockchain.info, and the other wallet is called Ninky. What you're looking at at the moment is my computer screen with my blockchain wallet. You can see my balance over here, the $8.15 current value. Uh, if I switch over, you can also see my Ninky wallet, um, also uh, a, a, a web-based one. Both of these wallets are actually work through Google plugin, so they plug in through the Google Chrome browser. Uh, it makes it easy for me to demonstrate, which is what I want to do. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to move some funds from uh, my blockchain wallet to this wallet, the Ninky wallet. And we're looking at we're looking at the uh, home page here, which has got things like um, send and receive and so forth transactions. If you look at transactions, you see I've got a couple in here already. Back to the dashboard now. To receive, I need to create a receiving address. So I click this button, and it's going to create. You see what it's done there? It's created a QR code which I can scan if I'm using a mobile phone. But in fact, I'm doing this uh, on a on a you know browsers on a web browser. So I'm going to take the address from beneath the QR code. I've just copied it there, and I'm going to use that receiving address, of course, to head over to the blockchain wallet. And here I am on blockchain, and I'm on the wallet home, and I need to click on the link that says send money. And I'm going to paste that receiving address in there. Okay, that's the one I just copied. And what will I send? Well, I'm just going to send uh, 0.01, which is a couple of dollars worth. So I'm going to enter in here, 0.01. You can see that it shows the current value of that transaction, so I know how much I'm sending, 0.01 Bitcoin. I've got the address in here. This is the address I copied. It's always very good to make sure it's correct. Uh, you know, for example, um, I copied it very carefully. But if it was incorrect, then the checksum system would it would invalidate that transaction because it wouldn't it wouldn't recognize that address, and that's all I have to do. Now I'm going to uh, send this payment now. Just click here. Progress gone. It's sent. I head over to the Ninky wallet, and I go to my transactions, and here we have it right here and on the uh, 17th of the uh, which is today when I'm doing this the transaction just came through and here it is 0 0.01 that's how quick in other words the, trans the transaction is instantaneous however you do have to wait for confirmations before you can actually spend that transaction you get the first confirmation usually within 10 minutes, but it might take up to half an hour to get two or three confirmations, which means that then that those funds are cleared through the blockchain for re, you know, for respending if that's what you want. And that's all there is to it. It's as simple as that. Copying the address from one the, the receiving wallet, uh, pasting it uh, to the sending wallet, and then sending it. And that is how you be your own bank. Now, if you're somebody watching this who'd like to know more about Bitcoin, um, more details, more recommendations, more links, and all that sort of stuff, head over to my bitcoinreport.info website. I've written a, a good introductory report, which will give you a really good head start into the Bitcoin economy. And you can request that report from this website. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye.